My name is Gavin Evans and this is my list of my most anticipated TV shows of 2023. Now this list is very hard to come up with because there's not really a list of shows coming out next year. They kind of just get announced a few months prior. So some shows I know as a fact are coming out next year, some I'm not too sure. And well, original shows don't really get much advertisement until they're already on the air. So yeah, I, I don't like doing this list if I'm just being honest. But there's two things I do want to talk about because two things on this list are two of my most anticipated things ever in my life. So um, this list is just, um, well, I'll do five. So my fifth most anticipated TV show of 2023 isn't for sure coming out next year, but I've got a good feeling about it and it's Barry. I love Barry. I think Barry is a very good show. It has elements of Better Call Saw in it, elements of Bojack Horseman, but it still feels like its own thing entirely and Bill Hadel and the rest of the cast do such a great job. I think season three ended in a very effective manner and I want to see how they follow up with that. I do kind of hope this is the last season of the show. I feel like we're getting close to the end, but I'm very excited. And I will also add that if Euphoria was coming out next year, that would be on this list, but I'm not sure. I I'm doubtful though. My fourth most anticipated show coming out next year is Warrior. I think Warrior has some great stuff in it. Andrew Koji's fantastic, brutal, well choreographed action. My issue is that I don't really care about the cop storyline and each episode's a bit too long, but when this show comes back this year, I hope it's great and I hope they improve, but if we get some great action, some great Andrew Koji, then I'm pumped. My third most anticipated show is Succession. Now, I'm not as high on this show as everybody else. I think the first season is great up until the end. I'm not the biggest fan of the way it ended, but season two takes that ending and makes for a terrific season with a very strong finish. I love season two. But then season three took the ending of season two and just kind of ruined it. And I didn't really care for season 3. That review is one of my biggest regrets. I was far too positive on it. I was just on the high of the last episode. But the rest of the season is actually pretty bad. It ended very strongly. And I hope they do a good job of bouncing off that ending. If they do a great job, then I'll be a lot more positive on this show. But if they mess up this season, then this is going to dip on my list of my favorite shows big time. It's There's a lot riding on this season and I hope they get it because I do think this is a great bunch of characters, some great actors. I love the music in this show. Even when it's at its worst, the music is always freaking incredible. But let's just get to the stuff I do want to talk about and it's the top two which like, I've never been this excited for any movie, TV show, video game, ever. Like, these two things, I'm super pumped for. So, uh, number two, Last of Us. I love the games. The first game is a masterpiece. The second game is the greatest story in any medium ever. It is perfection. It is heartbreaking. It is brilliant. It is challenging. It is everything stories should be. There's like 20 characters and every single one is fully realized. The music is terrific. It's got some great whole elements. It, it's just brilliant. And I can't believe that they're bringing my favorite stories and bringing them to TV. And I hope that people who don't play video games get to experience these stories I love. And the trailers have looked incredible. The visual aesthetic of it all is so impressive. The grit, the atmosphere, the lighting. It looks to be tense. The uh, cast looks to be amazing, especially Bella Ramsey. I just see this tra trailer and I'm just like, shit. I, I, when Take Me On started playing, I actually started tearing up because I'm just like, they did it. They did one of my favorite stories ever, Justice. 
and it's just so incredible to see and I, I, I cannot wait for this I, I, I'm so pumped um, but yes but um, wow so close it comes out in just a few weeks um, yeah I this could be one of the greatest TV shows ever but it's not going to be the number one greatest show ever because that spot is already resolved. And my most anticipated show of 2023, and I should add, it's not official that this show is coming out in 2023. It's rumored to, it's been heavily implied, still not confirmed, but I'm putting my bets on it that it's Arcane Season 2. I loved the first season. I had zero expectations for it and it just blew me away. Just the animation and the style of it, the soundtrack, the story and the characters are so fully defined. They're rich in depth and nuance and they explore complex ideas. It is heartbreaking. I feel emotionally invested in everything going on. It's exploring big ideas about humanity, about just so many stuff. And it pulls it off flawlessly. It's very tightly paced. It's incredible. I've got a few worries for season two, but my goodness, just I rewatched season one recently and I'm just like, yeah, those worries are gone. I truly believe in the people who made that masterpiece of a first season for this second one. It's, I have no reason to doubt them. So, I, I, I cannot wait. So, Arcane Season 2 is my most anticipated TV show, if it comes out in 2023. I'm just, the day that comes out, like, I'm seriously thinking about renting out a theater and watching Season 2 on the big screen. That's how excited I am. Like, God damn it, I'm, I'm just so excited for it. So Last of Us in Arcane Season 2, pumped. Everything else, I'll watch it. Hopefully it's good, but the first two things, yes. Uh, what are your most anticipated shows of 2023 though? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for some more videos soon. And Gavin, 